everyone is struggling with concentration. We open the book, study for two minutes, and then something happens. We open our phone and half an hour later, we realize that, Aray, we forgot to study for the last 28 minutes. This is what happens to everybody. And in this video, I'm going to break down why this happens and what can you do to improve your concentration. I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior. I'm a neurologist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've not subscribed yet, after all of this, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, it means a lot to me. And as a surprise, uh, from this video onwards, I'm going to start recommending some book, podcast, or something special that I have come across in the last week at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around till then. Now, the way I want you to think about concentration is that you're going on a road trip. There are five steps to successfully complete a road trip, and there are five steps to successfully learn how to concentrate. Step number one, decide your destination. Now, in your brain, your prefrontal cortex has the job of planning what you want to do ahead. If you don't know where are you driving towards, how can you plan a road trip? Similarly, if you want to sit down and do some work, state it out very clearly what you intend to do. Let your prefrontal cortex know that this is your intention. This is your goal. For the next 30 minutes, you're going to be reading this. That helps your prefrontal cortex eliminate all the unnecessary thoughts and ideas that will come to your head. If you don't even know what you're going to do, how else will you know what is a distraction and what is a target? Step number two, remove other diversions. Now, as you're driving down the road, your brain is constantly looking left and right to see what other roads it can take because your brain is always curious to see if any other road might be a better option. This is what distractions are because when you're studying, your eyes are constantly flicking everywhere else to see if something else can be more interesting. Is this iPod more interesting? Is this phone more interesting than what I have to study? Remove all other distractions from your peripheral vision. Because every time your brain spots a potential distraction, there is a dopamine spike and your brain will get more reward by chasing that distraction than sticking to your main road. So if you want to concentrate before you start working, put away all your distractions, put your phone in a bag somewhere that cannot be reached easily and make sure that your peripheral vision does not have anything more exciting than your primary goal. Step number three, reduce the other cars on the main road. Now, even in the best of conditions, as you're driving, you will come across some traffic, which is other things that you have to do while you're getting to your final goal. Now, these are not things that you can completely avoid, but they will still slow you down and increase your anxiety. So for example, if you're supposed to finish one project, as you're finishing the project, you will come across something that you should also do as part of your main job. Now, as you come across this task, you make a mental note that, okay, I need to finish this but this takes up valuable working memory inside your brain. So in your brain, inside the PFC is a part called dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. This is where working memory is stored. Now, the more things you keep on your DLPFC, the slower you get because now you're not able to think very clearly. So I utilize this method called right and park. So as I'm studying, whenever I get any other ideas or things I need to do, I just note it down in a piece of paper and keep it next to me so that after I'm done with my studies, I know that all of those thoughts are stored. I don't need to remember them in my head. Now, I don't know about you, but I find it very comforting. Just knowing that it is parked somewhere, I can reach it whenever I want to actually helps me concentrate better. Step number four in completing your road journey and in concentration is taking care of your car. Now, if you have a broken down car, no petrol in the tank, one tire punctured, you are not going to reach your destination. Similarly, if your body is not healthy, if you haven't slept the night before, there's no nutritious food in your tummy to give you energy, you are not going to be able to concentrate. People say that concentration is a state of mind, but I say it is a state of body. It is all about glucose regulation, mitochondrial energy. So make sure that your car is functioning properly. Get seven to eight hours of sleep, hydrate yourself properly, and every half an hour or so, make sure you get up and just move your body, move your joints, move your muscles, and then come back and sit and study again. You'll be able to concentrate much better. And finally, step number five to completing a successful road journey is to keep driving. People forget the importance of momentum in concentration. So the more you study, the more you are able to study as long as you take sufficient breaks. Now, the way the brain works is you are not going to maintain the same speed throughout the journey. There will be times when you speed up, there will be times when you slow down and there will be times when you take a break. 
all of this is part and parcel of your road journey and it is all part and parcel of your concentration journey as well. Do not expect yourself to work like a machine because you're human. Your brain is wired to function in waves. Your adrenaline and dopamine levels will surge, it'll come and go and so will your attention. So allow yourself that luxury of focusing, relaxing and then focusing again. So remember that movement and just starting your task makes concentration easier. Once your car is moving, your brain wants to naturally just keep it going. So to summarize, the five steps I want you to start practicing from today to improve your concentration is to think of your concentration as a road journey and set the destination. Remove all the unnecessary diversions from your road. All the cars that you come on the journey, park it to one side on a paper. Take care of your car, which is take care of your body and to keep moving, even if it is slowly, because movement completes the journey. Now, if you found this video useful and your concentration improved because of this video, let me know in the comments. It means a lot to me to hear your feedback. In the last couple of videos that I made, I read through every comment that you guys had put and I have to tell you that it's such an encouragement for me to just hear what you guys have to say. So thank you for that. And as promised before, the recommendation I have for you today is a book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. I read this recently and I am mind blown by it. She talks about how the journey of an artist is almost a spiritual one where discovering your art is like discovering God. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's a recommendation, especially if you are on an artist's journey yourself. Go check it out. I'll keep making more such videos for you guys. You keep showing your love. I'll see you soon. Bye everyone. Take care.